Is it easy to make up a crown, bottom trims and wall panels in Blender? It is, the process of making those kind of wall molding whether for interior or exterior use is very simple once you know the steps, so let us see how it's done. Say we have a wall like this, and we want to make some paneling on it, the first thing we need is some basic shapes for the profiles to work on, and for that, I will use a simple plane to draw rectangular area for the panels. Now to work on this, we need to make them into lines and not surface. So hit F3 and choose Convert to Curve, the same option can be found in the Object menu at the top bar. Once we made those lines into curves, we can access the curve settings, in it, you can go to the Geometry tab, and under the Bevel section, go to Profile, the we can increase the depth on those lines we have and assign to them one of the available preset shapes. So let us choose the crown molding for example, and it shows you the cross section for the panels also give you the ability to edit any part of it which by result affects the panel shape, now since this a panel on the wall, we can change the fill mode to half, and always make sure to apply transformation if you have problem with the shape or the spacing between corners. I can now rotate it to face the front side, and fix both the depth and the resolution for the panels to look at best shape. You can after that fix those points on the section part to affect the profile, and once you are satisfied with one, copy it along the wall, and that the first method, though it needs a bit of work, still easy once you work with it once or twice. The second way we have to add moldings is similar to the first one but with one change. We use pre-made profiles or sections, whether you draw them in Blender or import them from other apps, like those one we have here, two for the top crown and two for the wall trims, and you can easily search online and get many of those with DXF format, like this site here. Once you download one, you can open Blender, enable the DXF add-on, and import the profiles. So back to the main scene, let us say we need the top mold to have this section, I will copy it first near the top edge, then in edit mode, select the top edge where the profile need to go on, and hit shift D to make a copy of it. Hit P to separate the new copy from the main wall, after that we need the curve settings, so select the new mid edge, and convert it to curve, and similar to the last method, go to the geometry tab, however this time under the bevel, we will choose the object option and not the profile, in it, we can assign the profile we have here on the side to work as a section for the top crown mold. The mold needs two things, first, half the mold is inside the wall, and that problem is related to the pivot point, so we need to fix its position on the profile, we do that by enabling the snap tool and placing the cursor on any corner, then we can move the pivot to cursor position.
and now it looks aligned with the wall edge, the second fix we need is the rotation, and with that we just need to rotate the profile on the Z by 90, then apply the rotation to see the change, and that will do it, you might not get sense of the rotation direction at first, but with time you will be able to compare the mold with the profile easily, and fix it with no time, We can now with the same method add a wall trim along the bottom edge, and the process is simple, select a profile to sweep it over the floor, then highlight the needed edge and separate it from the main mesh, convert the last edge to curve to get the bevel settings, and assign the profile to it, very easy once we get custom to it. Last method you can do to get molding is by the use of add-ons, and I don't think I came across any free add-on that I though it's useful, however on the paid side, there's one called Profiler, no affiliation by the way, but I thought it looks similar to the sweep profile I used to have in 3D Studio Max, it looks nice and it has a variation of profiles to go with, and that's it. These are three simple ways to make molding in Blender, if you want a more advanced exercise, go watch this interior classic tutorial, and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.